What most of you have been asking me is, Fred, how do you keep your cows so clean and so healthy? Even in this community, everybody calls my cows the foreign cows. And they ask me, why are they so healthy? You know, you look at their stomach. Come here, come, let me show you guys. This is practical. Look at this cow. You see the amount of meat that it has. This is a male cow, very young cow actually, that we are not allowing to cross. Come over, look at these cows. Look at their stomach. And this is what people are literally asking. How do we do this? And the secret is what they are doing right now. So with this cow, what we give them is two things. We give them food and we give them good clean water. And if you look at what they are doing now, they are grazing. But they are not grazing just anything. They're grazing brachyria grass. Come down, let's go, come down and see. Come, come down. Let's look at this, right? So these are all brachyria grass that we've planted, right? So basically they are on this grass grazing from morning to evening. And basically in the evening, what we'll do is we have some of this grass also dried and we'll be able to feed them in the evening. So throughout the night, they are also eating. And their health is important. What you need to do, first of all, deworming. Make sure that you're deworming them at least every three months. If you can do two months, even better. Especially in the rainy season, we do one and a half months to two months, we are deworming. So make sure you deworm them. Make sure you're giving them salt lake to generate their appetites. Right? I'm not a fan of a lot of vaccination or a lot of medication to get bigger or so on. Just feed them with the right food. Give them enough food and they are going to grow as bigger as you are. Come over, I think it's time for them to go. But if you look at any of these cows and you see that they are looking good. The, these are not sick cows, these are not cows eating um, on the refuse dam. These are not cows that you see just roaming about anywhere, right? They, they have the right feed and they are eating well and that's why they look like this. Hi there, I hope this video has been educative and fun for you to watch. Thank you so much for watching this video. But I have a quick question for you. If today is your first time, welcome to the Sementia family. But if you, this is your second, third or fourth video, my question is why haven't you joined our family? Please go ahead and hit the subscription button and don't forget to also like this video so that we can grow this family that is on a journey to change the narrative of farming in Africa. So if you really want to do livestock and gain from it and make profit and have a good looking animals that you can showcase, then you need to prepare your food, get the right food, feed them well, give them the right medication. Every cow that is not growing is nutrition. Give them the right food and I promise you, they will do as good. Look at this beautiful cow passing by me right now. Like I won't sell this cow for any reason. I'm just gonna be breeding this cow, right? And that is the kind of cows that I'm trying to breed. I know my genes are still local. I'm gonna start introducing foreign breeds to this cow maybe next year, but for now, these are local cows and I'm very pleased over the years for how they've turned out. So that is the answer for you. The secret to my success is good feeding and good water. Plant bacteria grass, plant alfalfa, plant mabuda grass, whatever that you have, and make sure that they have enough food to eat. Cows eat a lot. They eat 30% of their body weight. So make sure that you're always feeding them and giving them enough water. And I promise you, you will have beautiful cows as you guys can see. I will have to go as you guys know that the weather is changing. I have to leave, but I hope this is helpful. I am bragging a bit, but I love these cows. And I hope you guys will take my advice and go into cattle farming as well because it is productive and there is always demand for it. I'll see you tomorrow with another video.